So Yasha, we are about a week away from launching BW for HANA 2.0 to but customers but next week. So we thought it's worthwhile looking at the BW4 cockpit again. At first glance, it looks uh, like having lots of new stuff. What strikes first are lots of numbers visible. Yeah, so we try to make it more interactive, so you immediately get an idea how many like objects, process chains um, there are in the system, mm -hmm. or processes, for instance. Plus, we added a couple of new functionalities, like we have the analysis authorization editor on the modeling area. We have the remodeling monitor on the monitoring area, as well as external HANA view management, um, plus the data protection and privacy workbench. Wow, that's uh, that's completely new. That's that's right. That basically allows you to deal with all the GDPR requirements you may be now facing. What we included as well um, is, for instance, the Fiori Launchpad search you see ah, in the top okay. right corner of this one here. Yes. So I can search, for example, for objects that I have created. For instance, yeah. yeah. So you could put in your, your last name, typically, yeah, and, user, would, and, hey. and that as you can see, it gives you a list of all the objects you created or okay. last worked on in the system. Excellent. Um, so you can see you created some data store objects, some info objects. Um, as well as what you can do from here, you have some, some actions, like you can go to the Manage Data Store Object application, you can do a data preview, that's also a new feature. You can navigate to the modeling tools to apply changes to the object. Wow, and, and I, I see here this message or, or a notification or... That's right, that's like a new notification oh, okay. feature we have included as well. So every time something happens in the system, um, concerning objects you are interested in or you have probably created, you'll get such a notification. For instance, this one is telling you that a load request just finished. Excellent. And so probably I can look into details by pressing here. Right. Okay. And wow. based on what notification type um, okay. that is, it will take you to the proper monitor, mm -hmm. like in this case to the data transfer process monitor, so you can check your load request. Um, but there are others as well, like we have uh, remodeling notifications, we have um, mm -hmm. request activation um, notifications. And I can choose so which that. ones I subscribe. Right, yeah. 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 Okay, that's excellent. Wow, it seems like there's a lot of new features and functions coming up in that uh, sense. So, as far as I understand, we are planning to publish some more detailed videos in the next few weeks that discuss some of these aspects in more depth. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Because we have quite a lot of new applications in there, we just want to have a short series of videos just to give you a an, an better idea of what we actually have included and, and how it works. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. So, looking forward to watching them. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks, Sasha.